what's wrong with that stone right there? What? It's slippery. What do you mean it's slippery? No, it's not a slipping hazard because no one's going to walk on it. Look, I can't even get on it, sir. See? See? Whoa! Oh, oh. He's shaking his head in judgment. What's wrong? That grass right there? I'm going to cut the grass, too. Just give me a break, dude. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival Mode. We are picking up just about where we left off here after the end of the last episode. You can see our cozy cottage down there. Uh, on the uh, on the blotto, <laughs> the pink sheep blotto house, as we like to call it. And wait, hold on a sec. Hold on. Did I did I just see? What the heck is a wolf doing in the sheep pen? Oh my gosh! Is that? It is. It's mutton. <laughs> How the heck did you get in here, dude? You killed the sheep, didn't you? Hey, look at me. I'm talking to you. Turn around. Yeah, there you are. Yes, you look guilty. I can read it in your face. I'm I'm good like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, I had two sheep in here. They were just white sheep, not pink sheep. Just a couple of random white sheep that I found up here and I wanted to keep them safe from uh, the wolves. And apparently that didn't work out. But this didn't help right here. It looks like they escalated and they wrote a sign, the sheeps. You mad, bro? Because <laughs> I saw this guy out here trying to get in. He was circling around and trying really hard to get in and eat those, uh, those sheep. But uh, he must have, I don't know how he got it. How did you get in? You're like Houdini. He's a sneaky little fella. Come on out. Come on out. This isn't for you. Uh, oh boy. He must have jumped in from here probably, huh? Leapt in like that. Yeah. All right. Well, lesson learned. Cut back the, the, uh, the dirt from the fence so that wolves can't leap in. And of course, uh, don't taunt the wolves because life finds a way <laughs> or something. All right. Anyway, let's get started on our project today. It's going to be a barn right here, uh, sort of a barn slash ranch to put all of our uh, four-legged critters in, our cows, our pigs, our sheep, especially the sacred pink sheep. We want to get them nice and safe. Um, you know what? I probably should have just contained him in there. That might have been a smart thing to do. Oh, well. He's free now and he's looking down at the pink sheep. Hey, don't even get any ideas, buddy. <laughs> don't you even get any ideas. We should probably tame this guy or... Uh, or kill him. Kill him? Really? That that seems extreme. He's just um, he's just a wolf living his life. I mean, everybody's got to eat, you know? All right. Anyway, let's get started on our barn build. I'm going to grab all the bits and pieces. So I have spent quite some time here, as you can see, getting ready for this. Uh, we're going to need some cobblestone for walls and a bunch of oak. So let's, um, excuse me, Ragnar. We've got Ragnar up here today. Haven't spent a lot of time with old rags in a while, so here he is. Let's make up, uh, we're gonna make up a bunch, I'll just make a whole stack of walls. That kind of walls, and then this kind of walls. We got the mossy and the regular, um, so it's gonna be a bit of a stone wall, um, with some logs in between. It's gonna look very nice. And now, before we can even get started here, we need to, we need to get rid of some of this dirt. We've got to level this off right here, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, let's push this back a little bit. It's going to take some time. It's going to be a relatively large barn. I'm thinking uh, 27 by 21. I've already made up a, a mock-up of this in a test world, and it looks really good. So we're going to, hey, <laughs> you're going to get hit with a shovel. I don't think that's going to feel too great. So maybe go settle down, huh? We've got the indoor cats outdoors today they don't really know how to how to act just go play you don't need me go scram skedaddle scooch whatever you call it in cat language i don't know <laughs> jeezy you really want to get close don't you separation anxiety this little guy well watch out watch out down you go holy cats really jeeves i know you have nine lives okay but i have a very bad track record with cats you don't want to end up in the pet cemetery, do you? We all know what happens when the cats go to the pet cemetery. We've seen that movie, haven't we? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> all right, almost done. Oh my! <laughs> you really are cruising for a bruising, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Living on the edge here, that cat. Old Jeevesy, old boy. Oh boy, and I am out of shovel. Great. I do not have a backup or iron up here although hold on a second you know what there's some iron right down in a hole over here i happen to notice i can whip up a quick new shovel we're gonna need it 
Where's my pickaxe? I don't even have a pickaxe. <laughs> I am not prepared for this apparently. Wow, it's like it's like the first day being a caveman. Ooga booga. We went into the Stone Age. This is crazy. And just enough, just enough for one iron ingot, and we can make a uh, we can make a new shovel. <laughs> It is a nice cave. You want to hang out here? Fine, sit. Stay out of the way. And we can get rid of that um, that old wooden pickaxe we don't need anymore. There we go. Ding! Oh, look at that little black bunny. Isn't he adorable? Hey, buddy. You better run. A cat might eat you. Oh, really, dude? Come on now. All right, let me finish this off. I'm going to flatten it out nicely. Like I said, we need a very large area here. And I'm going to have to fill all this in, too, on it nice and flat. And I will be right back. Looks like I'm going to have to go to sleep. Did bring a bed, at least. That I did think of. Just didn't bring all the tools. Come on, let's go to bed, buttercup. My buttercup. Time for bed. Good night. All right, I think we're just about done. There's that crazy wild wolf over there. It's like wily coyote. Looking for sheeps. Hey, no, 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 leave the little buddy alone, you bad, mean, evil. I know, actually, I know you're not. You're just trying to eat like everybody else. I get it. I get it. I mean, you gotta eat too, right? Okay, we're back. And I'm just having a little uh, mushroom stew here for lunch. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more. Thank you very much, Mushy. And down the hatch. Mm -mm -mm -mm, delicious. You know what? Let me grab one more for the road. Come on. Can I get. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> free buffet out here it's beautiful i love it all right uh what you're hungry too ragnar okay how would you like some raw mutton that's all i got i know you don't like mushroom stew but you can have that okay there you go good boy all right now um let's get back to work what are we doing yeah building a barn right <laughs> let's go raise a barn um how come wolves don't eat chickens wild wolves that's what i would really like these spies running around here keeping an eye on me how we doing jeeves uh, what happened to my spyglass? I guess I put it away. All right, anyway, let's, um, let's focus. Focus! So, let's go over here and figure out where we're going to start. Like I said, it's going to be 27 by 21, so it's going to be rather large. So let's start over here. I'm going to knock this back just a little bit more. And we shall put down the very first, which will be the corner. And then we're going to fill in um, the gaps between the posts with wall, stone wall. So, yeah, it's going to be an old style, New England style farm. Uh, I run into these walls, these old stone walls every now and again. When I'm out hiking and so forth, you find these old, old stone walls that are basically just stones stacked up on top of one another. Uh, that's all they did back in the olden days, um, in some cases anyway. So, but we're gonna we're gonna put some wood in here as well. So I'm thinking maybe the wood posts, and then a little bit of uh, stone in between. I would like to get some of the mossy to make it look like it's old, right? It's been it's been here a long time, even though it hasn't. It's brand new, but I like that look. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, right there, twenty-one. So that's the that's the uh, width. And then we're going to do the length will be 27. It's going to go out this way. So we have 1, 2, 3, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Wow, just made it. I might actually fill this in a little bit more. All right, and now let's uh, let's put in the wall. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3 over here between the posts. And I'm just going to randomize the moss all the way down until we meet the end oh wait actually over here we're gonna put in a gate so i'm gonna leave that open somewhat because we're gonna have to have a gate going in that's gonna be right here and i'd like to fill in this dirt right here in front of the gate too that's how we're gonna get in so it'd be nice to have some flat ground to get in and out of the place if you know what i mean Plenty of dirt to do this, and now it's nighttime again. So I think I'm gonna have to hit the sack. Go hop in bed quick with Buttercup. Push over, Buttercup. All right, let's grab some fencing now and some oak fence gate. We're gonna put up a, uh, a gate in front, 
And some oak slabs. We're going to top off the oak logs with the slabs so they can't be climbed on. So critters can't escape and wild wolves can't get in and eat our grazing stock. Livestock. That would be very, very bad. All right. So I'm thinking maybe one little stone here and then another uh, wood block there and three gates in here one two and three that looks good and then up above uh well we're not gonna worry about that right now let's just continue on do the uh to complete the full perimeter um i think on the sides we're gonna go two stones and then a post two stones and a post and we're gonna do this all the way around so let me just get this done and there you go my friends it is now done the perimeter anyway we still obviously have to do a lot more look at me standing on what am i standing on i'm floating floating in space yeah we we gotta we gotta finish this right here because you can't jump over the wall that does prevent um, anything from getting in or out but you can jump up on these one size blocks easily enough and we obviously don't want that to happen so we're gonna cap them off with these slabs nice wooden slabs that'll look nice and keep things in and keep things out this over here this might actually change because this is where the stalls are going to be yeah we'll have three or four separate stalls over here and the barn is going to be a big big barn here so we don't need to cap all of these off but let's do those this is going to be a gate which we can do right now and that's about that and time for bed yet again i knew this was going to be a multi-day project which is why I brought the bed and the cats. Good night. There we go. All right. Nice full day ahead of us. Let's grab, um, oh, I got my lanterns, but we're going to need some fence here and some birch logs. That should do. All right. Let's get back to task here. So my thought right here is maybe um, stone wall like so. Maybe too high. And then uh, we're going to put some fencing in up top a little higher. This is where ranches put their little symbol, right? Like the OK Corral, for example. Or the Yellowstone Ranch. That's the super popular one right now. Everybody watching the Yellowstone TV series. So I think we're going to call this, uh, we're going to call this the Pinkstone Ranch. Very, very good. And then we can hang a lantern right here. If it's not too low. Whoop. I fell down in a hole. I'm going to have to fill all this in eventually. I'll just come back here and backfill it. There we go. All right. So um, we'll put a sign up here later. It says the pink stone. And somewhere in this ranch, we're going to have to put a pink block of some kind to represent the pink stone. Aw, look at poor Jeevesy in here all alone in the cave in his timeout staring at the wall. You know what? We're going to... I feel bad. Yeah, I know, buddy. Come on. Come on out and play. Now is your chance, because you're probably going to go back in the house soon. Uh, anyway, all right, let's get back to work. We need to we need to bust out of here. Um, we're going to change this up a little bit, I think. Let's get rid of that. And I'm also thinking getting rid of the stone. I don't know if I want stone here. I'm thinking I might put in the uh, some planks here. This, this is where the stalls are going to be. We're going to have four stalls right in a row. And this is why I didn't want to cap these off because instead of caps we're going to have a wall going up like this put one little bit of wall here in fact i think i'm going to put some more uh mossy hey you better get off that yeah i was trying to preserve on the mossy because we were running low so we'll put a little mossy there and then a non-mossy here you like it glad to hear it jeeves is trying to get in my uh my good side again now <laughs> And it's working. Just keep flattering me, buddy. There we go. All right, let's have a look at that. That's going to be the stall. It's going to be four in length and then um, three in width, right? Does that look about right? I think so. So now what we want to do is put in our gates. Got some more gates here. I'm gonna, we're going to have one, two, three gates so we can fit all the big critters in here. Nice and easy, and then another post. And in between the stalls, I'm thinking we're gonna stick with the um, stick with planks. So one, two, three planks, and we're gonna leave a space here in the back. 
for um, for a gate so we can get through the stalls here. Get into the stalls. You want to go out that way? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Beat it. Go play. And that way we can come in here and clean out the stalls, right? Or something. And now we are going to have to cap these off, though. Because they're still too low. We can cap them off like that. What do you think, Jeeves? You like it? Good. I'm glad to hear it. All right. So that is a stall. I'm going to do the same thing here. Whoops, not you. Uh, I'm going to do gate, gate, gate. Log, gate, gate, gate. Oak log, gate, gate, gate. And what do you think? What goes next? Jeeves, it's not a trick question. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to play. Fine. <laughs> Still mad at me for putting him in timeout. Hey, Pink. How? Oh, right. We didn't cap that side. Um, actually, you know what? You can stay here. We're going to need you, my friend. So let's do this. Because this is going to be like a big barn area. Um, hey, get back here. We need you. We need a pig. And there he goes. All right. Well, we'll fetch him later. Um, all right. So we got four stalls here, right? I'm just going to do the same thing with the walls here. Put the logs on top. Beautiful. It's coming along nicely, don't you think, Jeeves? Thank you very much. And we'll do the same thing on this side and work my way back. What? There we go. All right. We're going to need some more planks, most likely. Let's get these in. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then all the gates. And we're going to need more gates and more planks. But that is, generally speaking, how it's going to look. Did I just see another piggy? Oh, you're back! Okay, great. I'm going to cap these off for now. Yeah, we're going to block this guy in. Now you're ours, pal. Welcome to the Pinkstone Ranch, my friend. You're the first one. This is a trial run. See how it goes. What do you think? You like it? Go on. Go on and try them out for size. Go on in. Check them out. Wow, he's really inspecting every inch, isn't he? What do you think? Do they meet the uh, requirements of uh, humane living arrangements for animals? Yes? No? They do. Okay, can I get that in writing, please? Yeah, I don't trust you. I think Piggy here was sent by PETA. P-E-T-A, the Piggies for Ethical Treatment of Animals. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hop into bed, and then uh, we will finish the roof on the stalls here in a moment. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Chiefs just pushed his way right on that bed. <laughs> and then somebody dropped me something. I'm not sure who. But it looks like we got a... Uh... <gasps> you didn't kill that little black bunny, did you? Did you? Oh, gosh. Javes, really? I mean, the wolf was chasing it earlier, and I have not seen it since. So I don't know if Jeeves is responsible for murdering that thing, or if the wolf got it first and then left the rabbit's foot behind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't ask any questions. Oh, the, the inspector piggy is still in here inspecting the place to make sure that it uh, it meets all the conditions of humane animal living. Great. All right, let's top these off. I did forget that. Um, okay, so now we need more oak. I'm gonna I'm gonna need more oak logs. So let me just grab all the oak and logs here because we're gonna have to frame it out. We've got plenty more. That's good. And more oak slabs, I think, for the roof. All right, now I need to get up there. So let's grab some dirt for scaffolding for the time being. And what we're going to do is go like so, just straight across here. I'm going to use a lot of logs for this, but it's going to look it's going to look pretty snazzy, if you ask me, all the way across. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just so nervous here with this PETA inspector watching me build. <laughs> I'm making mistakes. Whew. All that pressure. Still in there. Inspecting. Looking good, right? It's getting better. Don't worry. I know. We're going to put a roof up. Just give me a second, would you? Jeez, I'm working on a roof. All right. So now we need to come back this way. No. Dude, really? I'm trying to work here. You're not making it easy. All right. Then this is going to go all the way across. And then we can put the roof tiles on, which will consist of slabs. All right, I think that's completely framed. It looks pretty darn good. And then that little 
last bit right there and i think we are 110 percent framed for the roof and ready to roll so let's get our slabs out and start slabbing it's going to be a pretty basic roof we don't have to do anything too fancy we just want to cover up the aminals heads to keep them nice and dry when it rains that sort of thing jeeves what are you doing up here get off the roof i don't want the inspector to see you you don't have a hard hat on you're gonna get me in trouble <laughs> uh, well we're done anyway so we can get down now oh he's looking over here too great come on down jeeves let's get to bed and we'll check this out all right looking good we just have a few minor tweaks and then uh, we can move on to the big barn on the other side. All right, good night. Jeeves, you're always pushing your sister like that. Oh, and I got some rabbit hide the first time. Look at that. We got new recipes unlocked. <laughs> you did kill that rabbit, didn't you? <laughs> well, I'm going to hang on to the rabbit's foot because that is good luck. And maybe we'll, uh, we'll hang that up over here somewhere. All right, so let's finish this off. We got a few minor tweaks. Oh, we're not done. Not done. I forgot the overhang here. All the way across. And we'll leave it like that because it's going to tie into the barn roof. And that's all she wrote for the roof. And now I'm thinking, um, let's purdy this up a little bit. We can put some fencing in here. That'll look nice. And can we hang lanterns right here. Is that too low? I think that's just right. I think it's just right, if you ask me. And there you go. And I can do the same thing in the back. Look at all that headspace up here. Plenty of headroom for all these animals. Oh, and I forgot the lanterns. I'm going to put lanterns in all the stalls to light it up. There we go. What do you think? Anybody? Any uh, what? What's wrong with this wall? That wall's fine. What's the problem with it? Solid stone, just like the rest of it. Oh, boy, this guy's getting real picky. He's trying to find something wrong so he can shut us down. <laughs> if he looks hard enough, he'll find something, most likely. Uh, okay, so now it's time to move on to the barn. And that's going to be right here. We're going to have a lot of just grazing spaces, open, uh, free-range space right here for everybody to mill around and eat and drink and frolic um oh gosh these are not capped off i don't think we are going to cap these off because the barn's going to be here but we'll put this up for now like that just to keep the inspector in i don't want him to run away without giving us the final okay and the paperwork so how big should this barn be um this is where the pink sheep are going to hang out they're going to live in this space they don't get a little stall like that. They do get special treatment because they are the sacred pink sheep after all, right? So they do get a nice big home to live in. And I think we'll start it right here. It's going to come out to about here and then back. Um, just trying to envision this in my head. I, I did want to do this, though. What do you put? What? What? Um, I'm going to put some birch here. I wanted to mix the birch in with the oak. And then strip it down because it looks very nice. And this is where the gate's going to be. It's not going to be a closed gate. It's going to be open so the pink sheep can come and go um, at their will. And they can mingle with the others when I let them out of their stalls. But the pink sheep will be allowed to come and go uh, all they want. One, two, and three. And then maybe here we've got a three wide opening. I think that's, uh, that's standard procedure, right? What's wrong with that stone right there? What? what? He's picking out all the mossy stone. What? It's slippery. What do you mean it's slippery? No, it's not a slipping hazard because no one's going to walk on it. Look, I can't even get on it, sir. See? See? Wow! Oh, oh. <clears throat> there you go. Mm, never mind that. Right. Okay, I'll fix that later, okay? <laughs> uh, so now we need to... Yeah, I'm working on it, dude. Give me a chance. It's not done yet. Boy, this guy is no patience. No patience, sir. All right, get rid of that rose, and we're going to go up one, two, and three. I think we might want to make a whole frame. But let me let me do this first and just get kind of the foundation of this thing done. And then we'll put some scaffolding up and do the whole gate and the rooftop. Just a bit of time. But first, let's strip that down. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. I like the, uh, the different dimensions here, uh, the different depth. And also the color. I like the stripped birch next to the oak. 
What? He's shaking his head in judgment. What's wrong? That grass right there? I'm gonna cut the grass too. Just give me a break, dude. <laughs> that guy is very difficult to please. So now let's go up and finish this. We'll frame it out a little bit. Just need a little scaffolding. All right, hold on a sec while I do this. I'm just, uh, it's all trial and error. Um, okay, that looks fine. And now we're going to put the birch logs above. Start there and here and then come across. And then we'll strip all this down. We'll have a nice stripped birch frame around the, uh, the whole entrance way. Excelente. And now we can start making the roof right here, which is going to be, I'm thinking something like this, which is going to go up and up and then down and down. And now I need more slabs just to finish this off. Hey, <laughs> look what you made me do, Jeeves. Right in front of the inspector, too. What's wrong with you? Whose side are you on anyway? Sheesh. I'm the guy that feeds you, dude, and gives you a place to sleep. Uh, the problem with this is I can't hang that there. I think I need to raise this up a little bit. Yep, taking it down. Sorry, I messed up. I want to go up a little bit higher. Start here and then go there. Yes, like that. And let's have it come out a little bit farther. I'm just going to have to get up on top to finish that right there. Don't worry, the dirt's coming out later. It's just for scaffolding. All right, now let's go down and have a peek. Pick up all those slabs before the inspector comes over here, trips on one, and now we can hang this up like that, and maybe even multiples. Hang these up all along, whoops, all along the front. Oh, I likes it. Come here, cat, take a look. Drop it down some? Okay, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to lower these a little bit so we get more lighting down lower. Okay, I mean that seems low, but we're gonna get better lighting down here, and that's where we need it on the ground All right, so that is the gate to the barn where the pink sheep are going to live mostly Away from the Sun and the rain when they need it And I'm just gonna finish up this roof basically just gonna go all the way back We'll tie it into that roof and put up some walls um, And we should be good to go. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't see you there boy That's gonna cost me Gonna take points off for that, most likely. <laughs> He's a hard one to please, that pig. All right. Uh, good night. Watch this. Watch what happens. Jeeves is gonna jump up and almost knock his sister off that time. <laughs> I think tonight when we go to bed, I think Buttercup's gonna be on the ground. For sure. Good morning, Inspector. How you doing today? Hope you had your coffee and truffles this morning and you're ready to go because we are just about done here. <laughs> All right, so let's make the barn sides. Um, let's see, how are we going to do this? I have an idea in my head, and it goes something like this. We gotta get rid of you, bro. And put in not the slabs, but the full size planks. We're gonna go one, two, and then maybe uh, let's put in the oak. One, up, two, three. And we're going to go keep going until we get to the end. So log here. A couple of planks and then a log. And that should match up relatively well there. We're just tossing a plank right there maybe. Yeah, that's fine for now. There's going to be a lot of tweaking probably off camera. Or maybe together in the next episode. There's going to be a lot of decorating in here. I'd like a little pond. Maybe some vegetables over here. A little vegetable garden that we can harvest and feed to the animals. Uh, some cauldrons in here for watering. Hay, bales, and all that kind of stuff. But for now, I really just want to focus on the framework of this thing. And then we can, we can discuss that stuff later. In fact, feel free to put down in the comments any uh, suggestions you have, any tweaks that you can think of off the top of your head. Go ahead and put it down in the comments and I'll be happy to take a look at those between episodes and uh, tweak this up if necessary. Now, I don't know if I want those there, but again, just throwing some things out and seeing how it looks. <laughs> Not too chabby. If I do say so myself. All right, that looks good. Now we just need to put up the roof. And that is just gonna be a 
bunch of slabs right across the top. Easy peasy like. So I'm going to climb up here and just bring it on over. Roofs are sort of my weak spot, so this should be interesting. <laughs> this I'm just going to bring right across all the way, and it should connect right about here. All right, excellent. I'm going to try stairs instead of the, uh, of the slabs, and this will give us some more, I'm thinking, more verticality as it were. So let's just try this out and see how it, whoops, no, 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 not upside down, dude. Not upside down, buddy boy. Like this. All right, let's step away. Yeah, there we go. So I think the stairs are going to give us more verticality. So that's what we're going to do. That looks pretty good. Just have to go all the way up and then all the way across. So yeah, give me a minute. Let me get this done it's gonna be kind of boring to watch ow Ooh, that hurt my gosh i almost died working on a barn <laughs> and now watch jeeves knock buttercup off the bed no okay oh whoa whoa i saw that little kick out there didn't quite work <laughs> all right we're back here at the pink stone ranch project and uh you can see here that i have completed the roof at least the front I got the angle right. That looks more barnish to me. And uh, all we have to do now is finish it. Um, just go all the way back and connect it with that flatter roof over there. So I think that looks nice. And I also mixed in a little bit of birch here to mix it up somewhat. So hopefully I have enough of everything here to finish the job. But first, I think I'm going to hit the sack. And let's see if Jeeves pushes his sister all the way off the bed now. Good night. Whoop. Oh, nope. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> you know what? It's your turn to sit on the bed, and Buttercup's going to come play now. And the sun is on the rise, the rain is gone, and I'm just going to bang this out super quick here. And then hopefully we'll get the final inspection results, and I think we'll be good to go. And like I said earlier, I'm going to do some more tweaking here. Probably off camera, just some basic design work here and there. But I think what we're going to do right now is maybe go with two, two rows of the uh, oak. And then I'll put in one row of the birch in between. Oh, thought the piggy was coming up here to inspect the roof. That we don't want because it's not done. It's very unsafe. <laughs> the last thing we need is the inspector to come up here and falling down and making a mess of things. All right, so let me bang this out, and I'll be right back. Don't go away. Excuse me, Buttercup. Uh, where's your hard hat? Don't let the inspector see you up here. I had the same talk with Jeevesy, your brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you pushing? Hey! <laughs> Don't let the piggy see you fall off the roof. Oh, my gosh. We're going to lose our building license. Uh, by the way, we have spy chickens here testing the perimeter fence. They're looking for weaknesses. I think they're working with the wolves. Yeah, trying to figure out how they can get in here and eat our sacred pink sheep. It's just not going to happen. Just not going to happen. All right. Anyway, let's finish this up. We're just about done here. Um, Just need a finishing touch on this end of the roof. And then we're going to call it quits because we're running out of time. This episode is getting super duper long. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Is that uh, out far enough? I think so. And then I just have to finish up these walls over here um, again it's just going to be a big open air barn we don't need solid walls all around I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do here but i think i'm going to just finish this off um, off camera most likely let's go back around front and go in and yeah look at that looking pretty good this nice big barn just need some lighting in here yes I, I just said that i know it needs lighting i will do that and why don't we get the scaffolding down and we'll step back and have a look. Um, really? Really? Okay, quick. Well, the inspector's not looking. <laughs> okay, I think we're done with this episode, my friends. Our barn, at least the exterior and the roofing is all complete. It looks mighty fine. We're going to climb up a little pillar here and have a look. There we go, and I'm going to have some mushy stew and admire our pink stone ranch. Isn't it beautiful? 
and relatively secure and safe. <laughs> but obviously there's a little bit more to do. But there you go, my friends. I think we're done for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. And we shall see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.